Hello everybody. Today, we're putting eBay coilovers on the eBay Civic. I got, for 250 bucks on eBay, a set of Max Speeding Rods coilovers. They said they were on sale, but they were like 50% off, and I'm not sure if I believe that, but I also have heard of Max Speeding Rods before, which makes me think, maybe they're not horrid? I don't know. I know they make other car parts. I've never heard that they're nice, but I've also never heard that they're shit. So hopefully it'll be somewhere in the middle. We're gonna do a couple different tests. Obviously we're going to measure front and rear where we're at before and then after. We are at 26 inches in the front and 26 inches in the rear. And the other thing that I am really looking forward to with these coils is that all of the struts in this car are all the way blown. And it really sucks because going over any bump or taking any turn even kind of fast, all kinds of body roll, all kinds of like blown strut noise. I'm pretty sure on the highway they just shake as you're going down the road like blah, blah, blah. Check this out. Cars shouldn't do that. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna fix that. The way Honda does their power steering racks in this year are kind of weird, like way up here. You gotta take this cotter pin out and that'll probably break and that's you know something you always wanna have happen. This will probably start spinning in place when I try and take the nut off. That's always fun. And then in the back, oh my god. SPC. Look at this. See that logo? Yeah. It almost looks like these camber arms are already aftermarket. Obviously from a long time ago, because I almost bought some aftermarket camber arms, and these look like aftermarket camber arms. They have way more travel. I wonder if somebody pimped this ride at one point. We got the first strut out. You can tell it's been leaking for a very long time. I'm starting to become convinced that these are kind of a generic Honda coilover because there's no welded on nut for the ABS cable clip to bolt into, and it was a bit tight putting the brake line on. Well, I don't know. But right now, we're gonna lower the lift with just this one wheel on, and we're gonna test our ride height that we have it set at. We set it two inches lower than the stock suspension, but I don't know how much these uh, coils are going to sag once we set it down. So, we'll see what happens. Yeah, that's where she's gonna sit. We need to take it out, and we really do need to shorten it to about 16 inches, which means we're gonna have to set our preload way higher to get more threads to fucking screw it up. Fun! Oh, that is stiff as fuck. And I'm still not, <laughs> I'm still barely low. I think that's one of the problems with generic cheap coil levers. Getting the actual ride height you want might be an issue because I have about as much preload as a man could possibly have. And uh, I still got like two inches of clearance. Let's measure. What was it at, 26, 24? Yes, 26 was the original okay. right height. Survey says 25. Nice. <laughs> man, I'm gonna have to preload that spring some more. All right, we'll get back with you. All right, so he got it in. Uh, we had to do more adjusting and what we ended up doing is uh, seven and one quarter inches from top to the bottom of the spring. And then uh, 15 inches from the top of the spring to the bottom of the assembly. And that looks like it'll work. The springs came already preloaded a little bit and they were like nine and a half inches top to bottom. So we're lowering it, we're compressing them more than two inches, which means that this thing's gonna ride like shit. So, uh, that's, that's kind of what you get with eBay coil. <laughs> yeah, but hey, that's what makes it fun. I'm really enjoying twisting this for two hours. Yeah, dude. And ow, it's mm -hmm. starting to bruise my hand. Do you, do you need a break? Welding glove. Do you Fuck need, you. Do you need a break? I mean, if you wanted to come do it for a while, I wouldn't be too opposed. <laughs> now I started working on the back, and uh, got a bit of an issue here. If you'll look there, the nut that is supposed to be welded on to the actual uh, control arm has now snapped because the bolt was so rested in there. We had this ginormous ratchet on there and got it to start. Then we put an impact on there and uh, she snapped. So now we have the fun task of either cutting that bolt or attempting to get a nut with no actual nutness to not be fucking stuck. Here we go. We're gonna have to cut the <laughs> So 
he's gonna... <laughs> right here in hopes to preserve the bolt so that we can reuse it. I had to cut through this using a cutting wheel, right? And then after that, I had to cut it off of this. And then after I got this off, I had to put vice grips on the actual I don't even know what you would call this. Grommet? Piece of garbage? You hear that? That's after working it for a long time. It still sounds like that. They're all right. They're all right. What were... Good enough to go together. I got a bit of an issue. <laughs> My toe is all kinds of fucked up because now the steering rods are angled up instead of flat because the coilovers raised them. And I will get an alignment. That is one thing that I will actually pay for on this car because I don't obviously have an alignment rack and I can't be fucked to do a in-garage alignment because they never work out well anyways. But I'm going to try to adjust the toe by eye to a point where it at least points straight. All right guys, we got them all in. We're going to uh, see how it looks. The rear looks like it has more space than the front, but there's also less uh, Less preload on the springs, so we'll see if it's even. Please be decent. Oh, it did. It's lower in the back. Oh no, wait a minute. 24 and three quarters in the front, right at 24 in the rear. It's lower in the rear. Oh. So we can either adjust the preload in the rear and make it better or adjust the height. I might go for the preload. All right, we set the spring preload on the rears way tighter. So we're gonna see if that allows it to sit at a relatively even height to the front. I'll accept within a half inch. Don't sink too far. Oh, that's sinking. Well, it might be okay. In the front, we have 24.75. In the rear, 24.75. Hell yeah. We are almost exactly on the spot. All right guys, well, we're gonna take another drive. We're gonna see if it is any better. All right, a little update on the coilovers. Um, I'm on the highway now on my way to get in alignment and uh, my first impressions were just, hey, it turns. It turns without body roll, that's cool. But uh, I didn't really consider what would happen if I took the car on any road going faster than 30. So you can see that uh, it's pretty vile. These coilovers would have been awesome if I wanted to lift the car about four inches. But in order to lower it, I had to crank the preload on the springs down so far that it was just it was just a shit show. So, unless you are lifting a Honda Civic, do not go for the cheapest coilovers. Whether you know the name or not, they're, it's just not worth it, dude. But then again, that's why I do this to this car. So that you guys know if the max speed rods coilovers for Civics are okay. They're not. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, we hope you guys are enjoying watching us fuck this car up. <laughs> uh, see you next time. Bye.